uh, I think it's worth clearing up a few misconceptions that people sometimes have about packages. Now, um, now we all know that um, uh, any class within a package can access any other class or interface within a package quite quite easily without any problems. But uh, let's take a look at this example. Here's a package here, and um, within that package is another package monitor with some other classes. Now, um, since the package is different in this case, um, this class here, for instance, C1, has got no more ability to access C2 than any other arbitrary package. And similarly, this one here has got no ability, this class here has got no ability to access C1 any more than some other arbitrary package. That's because the name is different. In, in effect, being a sub package doesn't give you any anything. Okay, uh, the whole package name itself is regarded as um, a single, um, a single entity in a sense. It uh, it can't be split up. It, it it Java never splits things up and says and says, well, oh, well, this is obviously a sub package, so we give it some more access. It never ever does that. It's regarded as a complete, complete whole in itself, and being different, well, it might as well be this package down here. Now, of course, if you look at this package down here, what we got here is um, import comac me widgets server star. So this is going to import just that one p p one because that's public. It won't import that because it's not public. So that's effectively what's available to it. So if we look at this here, class c three, yeah, this is quite uh, it's quite okay. It's p one, and it's declared a variable be of that type and that's okay because its fully qualified name is going to be com acme widget server dot p1 it's going to be that one there if you try and put something like this in it's not allowed it's not allowed because monitor is not a class it's not a package rather there's no package called monitor the thing is called com acme widget server monitor it is not called monitor and the fact that we've got this here doesn't allow you to tag that on the front. Yeah, give a compiler error. And if you look at this here, similarly, uh, you can't put P2. Can't use P2 just like that either because uh, that thing is not recursive. It doesn't it doesn't import everything in there, and everything public in the one below that. It doesn't work like that. It only imports stuff from that package and nothing else. And that is a different package. If the package is different, it might as well be completely spout completely differently. If it's a different package, it's completely different. Now, of course, you can access P2 if you want to. Here, for example, put in the fully qualified name for it, and that's okay. You can do that. Because if you've got to refer to this a lot of times, you're going to want to put an import statement in so you don't have to type all this stuff in front of it every time. So there you go. Import package name star is not recursive. It does not import from sub packages or from parent packages for that matter. Only the package you specify and nothing else. And uh, sub packages, they get no extra rights anywhere. Either way.